Welcome back, folks, to Let's Play Crusader Kings 2. When last we left off, Devon was temporarily independent, which provides me with a good opportunity to put a Jure claim on either Cornwall or Devon. Devon is probably easier to claim, purely because it's a little um, area that I can only actually try and claim one, which is going to be annoying because inevitably this guy is going to want it back. But we have to try. Let's go. So, we're going to war with all these people. That's it. Let's raise our military, shall we? Mass them all up in one big pile. And then send them off on a merry adventure. A merry adventure, which is called... Destroying this guy. Also, that is more than enough boats. We don't want the boats up for very long, but we do want our forces up. That is more than enough boats. We can't see over there to see how dangerous it is. But there really aren't many people here right now. Right now, however, we are at war with a lot of people. English revolt here, as you can see. But the English revolts are a bit busy dealing with each other. And that's what I'm going to take advantage of. They're too busy fighting one another. And while they're fighting one another... Oh, let him play. What harm can there be? There was a 5% chance that he would die. There's where the harm was. <coughs> that was a bit of harm. Let's move over. Uh, we don't need 27 men. This is when I find out we did, in fact, need 27 men. As soon as this, um... Ooh, a distant land. Yeah, we'll let them in. I remember this cutscene. We've had it before. It's where we get the, uh... It's where we get the, uh... Eunuch. We should accept the kind gift of the eunuch. The eunuch's actually quite useful. Now, as you can see, we do not actually have enough men to conquer this garrison. We now have enough men to conquer this garrison. Yeah, we have enough men. Right now, we don't need these boats. These boats are costing me a fortune. This has a 1,300 men. If we separate out our army by splitting it directly in half, we can take half the army and conquer Devon at the same time. What we need to be careful of is this guy's war score. He's defending against my revolt of Cornwall, and he's also fighting in an independence war, and it's actually going kind of well for him. It won't be going well for him when I start conquering his lands. <laughs> I have to make sure I do not lose enough forces that this will be dangerous. Am I still earning money? Just 1.5 gold a month. <laughs> I know my vassal levies have been raised too long. There's nothing much I can do about that. I just need to keep this war going. Because if we can win this war, <laughs> if we can win this war, we can claim Cornwall and thus deny the Duchy of Cornwall falling into the hands of England. Also, someone became quite a decent dude. I don't even remember who that was. Must have been someone important. Perhaps it was my... No, it wasn't my first daughter. Who was it? My sister's son. He's already ill, but he's very quick. <laughs> quick of mind. What we're going to do once we've conquered these is head over to Norfolk. Ha! <laughs> People have succumbed to starvation. Good. This will actually be my territory, I think, if I uh, win this. If I were to claim Devon as well, he would then become um, my vassal. But at the moment, I'm just going to claim Cornwall for my own. It's part of my kingdom anyway. And I'm not going to risk losing... Um, Losing uh, prestige. Hey! You got a thing. Do it. And we won that. There's only an 8% victory, though. That kind of sucks. We're going to need to conquer more to make this war possible. Fortunately... Oh! My aunt is dead. 
And thus, my nephew no longer has an heir, and my nephew's a problem anyway. Look at that. I'll have you train him. 8% war score from conquering one territory. Why? Because there's all that territory we also have to deal with. How's your war going now? 19% in favour. <laughs> I actually need to hurry. If I'm too slow, this war will actually be over. Oh no, 23% war score. We're doing a bit better now. Let the lad have his fun. No, let's talk to him about kindness, shall we? Did that work? No, he is now cruel. It's an evil sadist, taking pleasure in the suffering of others. Oh dear. We are creating a tyrant in the making. A tyrant in the making. Peace deal. Queen Suan becomes Count Cadoc's new liege. We surrender under these terms. Hey! That was fast. So that's mine. I could just declare war on him again. That would just be mean. But on the other hand, it would be the right thing to do. Why? Because if I declare war on him again, all Christian rulers' opinions of me will drop by 25. All of them. All of my vassals will dislike me, minus 25. That's a risk I can take, actually. Sorry, buddy, but, um... I'm not done. Yep, you may just like me. Minus 25. But, uh... What can I do? I need this land. This land must be mine. I must claim it. This is the only chance I'm going to get to claim the kingdom, the uh, the Duchy of Cornwall. This is the only chance I'm going to get in the entire game. I must do it. I'll have you sit there for now. The peasants of Oriel are slowly starting to let my rule, restrict my rule again. I should never have let my treasury go negative. Well, there you go. They're still fighting that war. To be honest. This is how you should do it. You should just crush your opponents utterly and totally. Whenever presented with the opportunity, just crush them. Absolutely crush them. We are actually going to use our boats a little more this time. What we're going to do is we're going to send 4,000 men here. Can we... Yep, like that. Then... How's the other arm? We're going to split the army in half. Send the other half of the army back. Send it to Norfolk. Like this. As you can see, this is military tactics. We're going to conquer two territories at once. You see, by doing this, we are really, really stretching his forces. We're going, here you are. Two armies simultaneously attacking different regions of your kingdom. If you want your rebellion to work, you're going to have to give somewhere. Where you're going to have to give, good sir, is you're going to have to surrender Devon to me. How's your ward going, anyway? It's still going in your favour. But well, wouldn't it be great if you didn't have these problems? I grow more and more impatient with Chancellor Duke... I'm not even going to try and pronounce that. His slothfulness makes me go to extreme lengths to avoid having to do any actual work. I'll give him one last chance to sharpen No. I will give a stern talking to to him. I know you've been working overtime, Chancellor. But right now... Yeah, you had it coming. Ah, yes, you did. 
Here you are. We are also at war with England as well. The reason why we're at war with England is because... Um, because we're at war with a rebellious faction, we are basically by du jour and by the fact that we... Um, well, basically the enemy of our enemy is still our enemy in this instance. Also, that guy's useless. We're going to have you do it. Yeah, we don't have a better one of those, though. We're just going to wait for this war to uh, carry on, and slowly we will conquer territory, and he will surrender again, I hope. We just need to wait. Look at those wars. You're fighting with pitiful... Hello? That's not what I thought it would be. The da my daughter with the heir to the... No. What's going on here again? Oh! You're... You're fighting in a revolt for France. It seemed like these are now owned by different people. Same family, but different people nonetheless. And now another... He wants to marry my other daughter. No! Did you see that fighting, by the way, that occurred on that territory that wasn't to do with me? You just had 3,200 troops just sit there and be like, Meh. Not bothered, really. Not by this revolt. Not by this war. Not by anything. Aha! You drag her lev out of your hiding hole. Surrender. No. I still have untouched claims. You're not going to be saying that in a moment. The war is 52% in your favor, but now we're starting to have an impact. Shyness is a terrible curse. I'll talk to him. At least he's going to be a gregarious tyrant. Oh. The war has ended. Needs change. Oh. And I was doing so well. Minus 11. You're ambitious. Minus six. Broke a truce. That broke a truce is going to be in effect for the rest of forever, by the way. The war ended inconclusively, but we did gain something from it. We gained Cornwall. We have not gained Devon, which is annoying. He also wants control of it. There is a good chance we will not end up holding on to Devon. But there's always another revolution, isn't there? It's my territory now. Can I usurp this? No, I only own 50%. But well, we have a new vassal. He doesn't like me very much. Apparently I'm also a foreigner. But I'll give him some money, and then he'll like me. Everybody else doesn't mind, really. My own vassals actually don't mind that I broke a truce. <laughs> Everyone else under the sun does, though. <laughs> hmm... I need to wait for that raised levies penalty to fade. Need to wait for that raised levies penalty. Will take a while. <laughs> Sorry, Devon. I'm. My nephew became an elusive shadow. We tried. We conquered one piece of territory. We conquered one piece. If we'd have gone for Devon, by the way, we would have had the Duke. But. We still wouldn't have claimed Cornwall. That would have then become part of England. It's better that we took Cornwall, and thus we weren't attacked on both sides should a war occur to get it back. I'm sorry, but... I didn't mean to. I, I, didn't, I wanted to claim you as well, but it didn't work out. We should wait for this penalty to fade, and then when the penalty's gone, it's already at minus 12, my daughter is saying that she's not married. Is there anyone who will marry her matrilineally? Prince of Navarra? That would actually give us an alliance. Yes, go for it. I want to spread the power of the kingdom and my family line. The Maelor shall spread across the land. Matrilineal marriage? 
No one with an actual title. But we do have a Prince of the Holy Roman Empire. Off you go! Nice. Ah, nice indeed. We prefer actually to have this territory also. So then we could just claim both of them at once. And then I'd be able to make the crown of Ireland as well. My queen can wear two crowns! How is, uh, Stefan doing? Very well. His grands his son, or my grandson, leaves a little to be desired. How's Scotland doing? King Malice doesn't like me that much. Well, knowing my luck, I'm probably not going to live very long anyway. And the rebellions all end. King Henrik of Von Wolgast. Who on earth are Von Wolgast? I've never heard of Von Wolgast. There must be a Godwin somewhere. There's usually a Godwin in... Where are the Godwins gone? <laughs> There's one! I was actually stealing the territory of a Godwin. I would have loved to have had a Godwin actually in my territory, but perhaps that's just not the way it'll be. Any more Godwins? There's a Godwin! Dorset! Any de Normandies? There's a de Huys. There's a de Normandy. Oh, <laughs> my grandson Pedder is turning into an arrogant little braggart. I might have to rein him in. <laughs> yes. I will have to rein him in. Uh, that probably didn't work, though. Nope, he's proud. Mm. So how's... Well, that's actually not as bad as it should be. Like, Portugal, Galicia, Navarra is now huge. He must be the King of Navarra and... Yep, the King of Navarra and the King of Leon. <laughs> okay. That is turning out to just be large. That is turning out to just be huge. That's big. Abyssinia is actually getting larger, which normally doesn't happen. The This empire's okay. Sicily's okay. Holy Roman Empire's just basically encompass Poland. How's Iceland doing? Oh, Iceland is a part of Norway. We hadn't checked yet, but I thought I, I told myself I would. <laughs> so now we're just at a moment of relative peace. Relative peace. What claims do I have? Tyrone? Oh, I have a claim here. Can I press it now? I've got a year yet. Okay. How are my levies doing? You only dislike me minus one now. Factions? There's only one. It's really weak. <laughs> so what's it like being my vassal? It's actually quite good, actually. I like you. You're very nice. Thank you. Would you like to join. Oh, a truce. It even informs you when truces are expiring. In actual fact, we do not need to uh, have him there anymore. We have enough claims that next time we could actually um, we should actually sow dissent. Sow dissent in Devon. When this truce expires, we are going into Tyrone and then um, Briffin like a ton of bricks. <laughs> and then we shall make the Kingdom of Ireland. And then I shall be a two times king. And that's when it gets really complicated. So, we managed to capture half of Cornwall and in the process prevent it from falling permanently into English hands. I'll catch you later. I'll see you then. Later.